Hey all, this is Veronica. Thanks for joining me for my daily scent of the day video. Today's fragrance of the day is Salt by Ellis Brooklyn, one that I have had my eye on for a while and recently purchased. I think I got this from Ulta. I believe it's also available on Sephora if I'm not mistaken. And if you know other websites, please go ahead and drop those in the comments so that people that are interested in looking at this can have some options for shopping. I love this bottle color. It is everything I want in like a summer bottle. It looks like a pool that I want to just dive straight into. I do like that even though it's opaque, you can see the line of the fluid inside, which is about, you know, right here. Um, so you can get a sense of how you're doing with using up the bottle. There's something really simple and beautiful about the bottle. Now, the fragrance inside and the way that this is classified and the main accords and all of that don't kind of match up to me. You would think that this was like a watery fragrance, an aquatic or something like that. It's classified as an amber floral and it has a top accord of amber Next down is animalic and then yellow floral, sweet, woody, balsamic. Interesting. Um, I'm going to have to just kind of sort of disagree with that and give you my own take on this fragrance. On Fragrantica, it has a rating of 3.9 out of 5 with 78 votes. That's a not a large number of votes, but enough for me to kind of get a sense for how people are feeling about this. It was launched in 2020, so it's newer on the scene, and I thought folks might be curious about this one. I recently featured it in my part three of the Summer Beach series videos that I have, and part three focuses on fragrances that remind me of sunblock, remind me of sand, or remind me of palm trees. That was the theme of that video, and this one was in there because maybe it's the suggestion of the name the suggestion of the bottle or something but i do get some sun block vibes off of here not super strong like in some other fragrances that are well known for their suntan kind of vibe but i get some of that in here in the top it's a lang, lang and violet leaves and you do get some of that violet right away and uh, the alang alang which is an interesting note i always say that people talk about alang alang as maybe uh, coming across a little like banana smell to me sometimes it's banana but it's usually a bit floral spicy to me no one talks about that maybe it's just my weird nose but i pick up floral spicy in scents that have alang alang as the common thread throughout them in the middle, it's Tierra and Magnolia, and in the base, Ambergris, Musk, and Sandalwood. So this fragrance reminds me of being on the beach and smelling sunblock off of other people's skin, mixed with a little bit of ocean air as well. <clears throat> At the top, you do get that violet right away, and in the middle, the Tierra and the Magnolia and whatever else is in there, they may, there may be other unlisted notes, are really quite soft and subtle and you get slight muskiness and woodiness from the base notes as well. The best way that I could describe this is what I call like a boyfriend smell. It's a fragrance that's not <clears throat> heavily feminine. It does have some femininity, femininity to it because of the florals, but it also has just this hint of masculinity that reminds me of a boyfriend's shirt, your husband's, you know, sweater, whatever, that scent of their skin in the clothing. So this is the best way that I could describe this. If you think about Stash by Sarah Jessica Parker also being kind of like a boyfriend smell, this is the smell from the mountains, someone in the mountains. <laughs> and then if you think about amber saffron from Clean Reserve as also being that kind of skin-like boyfriend smell, this is the one on the farm. And then the cousin, Ellis Salt, is the one that lives in the cottage by the sea. So these three and a few others in my collection are part of what I would call my boyfriend or skin scent kind of fragrances that lean ever so slightly masculine, do have some femininity in them, are close to the skin, are comfortable, feel like a nice warm hug without being into the overly sexy or gourmand range. Um, or, you know, deeply amber fragrances. I would say that salt is on the lighter side uh, in terms of um, projection, in terms of 
how, whether people smell it on you or not. It's a scent bubble kind of smell, in my opinion. I don't think it's one that will fill up a room. It's one that's closer to the skin, but in a nice way. Um, and when I tested it, it lasted quite a long time. According to Fragrantica, it's medium longevity and medium uh, sillage as well. The reviews on this, I have to tell you, are all over the place and worth looking at if you enjoy reading comical reviews. Here are a few lines from some of the top, uh, the, the most recent reviews. Someone said, on first spray, this is the worst opening ever. I got, I got a rotten flower almost decaying vibe, and then a very quick dry down into a very faint salt floral scent. I don't get rotten flower in the opening. I think that's quite comical, but you know, everyone's different in how they perceive fragrances. The next one talks about this, giving them Tom Ford black orchid vibes, and then jokes around and says, does anyone else feel the same or should I really be questioning my nose? Um, and then the next one says, <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't even explain what it smells like on me, just that it feels so synthetic, almost like a beachy deodorant for men, and it has a, a sad face right there. It smells like salty, sweaty skin, like when you're walking back to your car from a trip to the beach. I think that's right, but in a way that I like. I don't dislike that. There is something, of course, very salty about it. The name is Salt, hello. <laughs> I think you get a lot of that from the Ambergris and a few of the other notes in here. Um, but it does give you that vibe like you have either, like you're sitting on the beach and smelling the, the air wafting through the beach, or you're what like that person said, you're walking back to your car, it's hot, there's smell coming off of your skin, a natural skin scent that is that is from the sun warming you up all day, but also mixing with your suntan lotion very faintly. So you do get the yellow florals in here, you do get the violet at the top, and even the violet sort of into the middle of the life of this fragrance, and then that muskiness uh, at the base, musky woodiness. I like this, um, it's my kind of fragrance, and uh, if you like that sort of skin scent, boyfriendy kind of smell with some uh, florals in it, you might be interested in picking this up. So that's Ellis Brooklyn Salt. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care, friends.